All right, guys, same plate carrier, same one, first one. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. It is the same thing. Except now we got this. I have added a holster to the side of it now. That that fits right inside of. So now, practice on draw. Which makes this pretty freaking cool actually. It's got a real weapon on here and then it's got kind of a fake one, but something to play around with, you know, mess around with. Um, to make any of this, again, as I said in the first video, what you have to do, go in, go online. If y'all want one directly, I mean, I've made a few of these. Um, this one right here, this one is like a prototype. My mom went to uh, the store earlier. Or, uh, well, she's going to the store, and um, I asked her to buy me some more of this, this uh, tape, so I can finish this and turn this into another one. Don't know what I'm going to put on that yet. That's separate. But here's the thing. Again, go on to um, go online, check out um, the Cry ABS uh, plate carriers, check out the... Um, there's the Cry AVS. There's also the, um, she was the one the Marines use. A Condor. It's a Condor. You can go look that up too. You can go look up various uh, play carriers. Just literally just look up the dimensions of it. Make sure your front and rear plate are about three in, not three inches, like um, three layers. About right there. Make sure it's like three eight, three layers thick of cardboard. Then after that, and I heard some, I saw someone in comments talking about this right here. Yeah, these, um, just bought them from freaking Amazon. I'll be freaking completely honest with you. It's like a 10 pack of these. It comes with, um, good old blue stripe. Um, comes with this. Uh, regular US flag patch. It comes with um, two don't tread on me ones. It's got a black and uh, tan one. This one and two Punisher ones, tan and black. That's pretty much what those are from. What I did, I grabbed the Velcro they came in, got some uh, packing tape or whatever, and put it only on the out, the outer freaking. I just put it around it. So then I slapped it on there and the patch was still able to stick. And that's how I got those on there. This whole thing right here has been a project for a little while now and I am happy to have this. This makes me happy. I made this, I went on Glock's website. This is a Glock 19. This is a, I believe a it's 9mm or 45? It's 9mm or 45. Something that Marsoc uses. Special Forces, whatnot. I think I switched to that like freaking 2015. Somewhere around there. Where Special Forces switched to Glock 19s because they're more reliable and you know, stuff like that. But I'm betting it's probably 9mm. And you're also probably wondering where the uh, oh where the magazine went right here. Yeah, magazine's in the handgun. Right here. That was right here before. Turns out, I modified this thing and I just taped the front of it now, in front of the grip. Um, it used to be hollow, but funny thing was, okay, that's a re-moment right there. Yeah, the funny thing about this, oh, what the fuck? Yeah, funny thing about this was that um, this was already in the plate, the plate here, but it fits right into this thing, so just kept it. Alright, well, that's all for today.